it simply makes sense because uh, emerging Europe can only benefit from better integration with emerging Asia. Like in every classical economic theory textbook, it can be writ uh, read. And then the rest of Europe, the emerged Europe, can benefit from that cooperation because all in all our integration in the global economy is going to improve. So it simply is it's very, very important if we take uh, globalization as a, as a complex uh, and comprehensive project and not just the question of uh, close interaction between uh, two industrialized regions. But what are the impediments to developing this growth and taking it even further? Well, let's be realistic. Uh, in, uh, in Asia, we are talking uh, very often about relatively big corporates who are uh, particularly interested in this kind of cooperation and integration. In Europe, we are talking about the SMEs as the backbone of, of European economy. So it, uh, it is sometimes also cultural clashes that lead to uh, difficulties in, in organizing this kind of integration and cooperation. And I think um, there more has to be done on the cultural side and also on the banking side in order to bring market participants together. And what is the role of the IFIs in pushing this process forward? I think the IFIs have a strong role because uh, the financing dimension of this is significant, in particular in view of the fact that um, the access to finance for, for, for bank credit, not to talk about equity, in Europe in particular is going to be extremely difficult for the next years. I hope this will be overcome soon because we have even more important things than SME findings in the next decades, uh, like innovation and infrastructure. But for the time being, the access to finance for SMEs, in particular if they want to invest in other continents, is a real impediment. And there, I think the uh, IFIs, in particular, if they cooperate better with one another, uh, can be of huge importance. Well, the impediments are, well, first of all, the access to trade financing. Uh, the skills, the competitiveness in a number of cases uh, when we look at uh, Europe, emerging Europe. Um, and I think here the IFIs, including uh, EBRD, uh, uh, EIB, but also the Council of Europe Development Bank that I represent, can help countries uh, providing with trade financing, but also with the necessary skills they need to engage in international trade.